Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and today we're transforming into Darth Maul. We've got the evilness going on. We even got some horns painted on. So if you want to figure out how to get this look completed, and I swear it looks so much cooler with this sheet I hung around my head. Way cooler, right? So if you want to figure out how to get this look, just stay tuned. Give this video a like and make sure you're subscribed. I upload once a week and I have a dog hair stuck in my eye. All right, stay tuned. Hello. I'm back with a bad back. So don't mind my hair. We're not even going to see it when I'm done. We're going to be hooded. <laughs> so today we are transforming into Darth Maul. And I think this is probably one of the only Star Wars videos that I remember watching, probably because it's newer. So we're going to try and transform into this dude. We're starting out like this. And if you hear any weird creaking noises, it's just my back brace. It's huge. <laughs> and everything has to be so close to me now. Setting up was such a pain in the butt because I have to have everything so close or else I have to use my uh, old lady grabbers. This thing's actually pretty bomb. I use it all the time. Perks, perks of being broken, right? Okay, I gotta get my, my Darth Maul to sit up. It doesn't want to. Yeah, it was crazy. I uh, was walking like, an hour after surgery. And the only thing is I can't bend over or twist and it's so annoying. Like you cannot get anything. So I can't get into my fridge because it's one of those ones where the refrigerator is on the bottom. So I can only like get whatever I can grab with my grabber or I can just like slide in there and grab something. But um, yeah, that's, it's more annoying than anything. Pain wise, it's, it's fine. I mean, it's a lot less than what I was in, so we dealt with it then. We're fine, we're fine. Yes, I'm excited too, Carly. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna try to do is paint my whole face red and then do the black. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna figure it out together, guys. Together is the best way to figure things out. Let's just hope that my brushes are clean. <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb and say, they're not. I could lie to you, but I'm not a liar. And I can't afford to have my pants on fire right now because I wouldn't be able to get out of them in time. <laughs> I'm just going to make uh, lame jokes about not being able to do things this whole video. That's basically been my life since Friday. It's kind of interesting the predicaments you can get in when you can't bend over like if you get too low to the ground your center of gravity is way different i got stuck on the floor in the kitchen the other day because i couldn't figure out how to get up without bending and like you'd think okay maybe i'll just bend a little bit but you literally can't it would probably rip open my back but so needless to say it was interesting getting up i ended up having to take my shoes off and i had to like almost do the splits and then come back up getting very flexible in my old age. Okay, so I think this is working out pretty good. I'm gonna paint over this. Uh, I'm trying to get my face the easiest to clean because that's another hard thing I have to do is not get my back wet or too wet, I guess I should say. So washing this off is gonna be fun tonight. I might just be Darth Maul through the weekend. You never know. I kind of look like Spider-Man. We'll just be who we want to be. Okay, so in the pictures, he has like a lot of black on his neck, I think. Every picture I saw of him, he's wearing a robe or he's doing like a weird face. So I think I might just paint my ears black and my neck black and then we'll call it good. It's going to be great. So I'm just going to get another coat on the areas where it's light get this red on my lips. I really hope this doesn't stain my skin, but it makes my teeth look really light. And I even have red contacts in too. I haven't worn these in so long. I took them out of the contacts case and they were almost dried up. That's how long it's been since I've worn these puppies. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I actually kind of like the red look. It's not the worst thing we've done on Facebook Live. 
Okay. Okay, so now that we're all red, we're going to paint some black on top. I wonder if I should let this like dry so that the black sits on it better. So let's paint my neck black. This is going to be a really weird like order that we're going in. It stains your face. Oh my gosh, I know. If it stains my face, it's going to be stuck like this for a long time if it stains my face. <laughs> I'll just walk around wearing a robe and just pretend like I'm cosplaying. Okay. So this might make the video cooler. It'll look like my whole um, head is floating if I do it right. I'm going to get that in my ear because I just want to look like I don't wash my ears all weekend. Let's get a little faster at painting our neck black. So how's everybody's summer going? I feel like this summer is going to fly by because I can't do anything. But it'll make the fall so much better when I can do things. Like pick things up and put them down. Okay. My neck is disappearing. I'm ready for fall too. It's hot. And with this brace, it's like, I've never really had the humiditities, but now I do. You may not have wanted to know that, but you're here. You're gonna find out a lot of things you don't wanna know. But yeah, this thing makes, uh, makes hot weather unfun. Jeez, my hair. <sighs> Woosa, Kim, Woosa. Yeah, it's bad. And I always feel like I have to wear like an actual bra with it because it sits right under there. So you don't want them to look like flopples. I didn't plan on talking about my, my assets on live, but while we're here, I feel like this is a problem that anybody wearing a brace would have. Just know you're not alone. Okay, so my neck disappeared. I'm gonna actually roll all this hair up. My hair's growing like a weed, flopples. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I call them. Okay, so we've concealed our neck. It's just gonna make it easier on me later on. Okay, so let's start painting some designs. I think I'm, he has horns. Um, and of course, this isn't an actual picture of Darth Maul, but I couldn't find a good one that was not super dark. So he's got these horns. I think I'm gonna do three of them in that order. Three on my face. So I'm just going to, Woosa. I'm gonna sketch out where I want those, but I don't know what I'm gonna do it with because I can't reach anything. Maybe we'll just start painting them on. I didn't think this through. What the French toast? I need to get like a better picture holder. Everything I have is a little ghetto. And by a little ghetto, it's a lot ghetto. I need white. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to open up this white. And of course there's like browns mixed into it because we still have Chewbacca colors up in here. And so here's my eyebrows. He's got a horn that's pretty close to the top. So I should use a mirror. I should know better by now. So I'm going to make my horn. That'll be my horn, my first one. And then this one will go a little higher and a little shorter. We're going 
gonna try and make it look like it's curved. Okay, probably not centered, but we're on the dark side. We can't draw things on right. Okay, now let's get some designs going. Designs. What are we gonna trace these out with? I've got this brush right here. I always act like I know what the names of these brushes are. I have no clue. I just always look for a clean brush and I never have one. So when I find a semi-clean brush, I just show you. Okay. I'm really liking being red. Maybe this is like my, my color. Okay. So maybe I'll start with my nose. So he's got some like diamond things down his nose. So we'll just start there. And nothing's gonna be even. It's just the way life is. Symmetry's overrated. I'm gonna look like a ladybug. Okay. And then he's got another one. I thought this one was going to be like somewhat easy for me coming back from being gone for so long. It's not. They never are. Okay. There we go. We got our first nose design. Boom. Now, hmm. Maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger because I have to hide some of my nose too. Okay, that looks like crap. It's fine. It's fine. Totally fine. Okay, I'm gonna do one more of these tchotchkes because I have a long nose and I gotta get up to my eyebrows. It's gonna look good when it's all together, hopefully. Okay, now this goes up a little bit and then out. Sorry, I'm putting my hand in front of my face. Oh, sorry, not sorry. Sorry, I'm doing it, but I'm not gonna stop. And I'll probably smoke out the lines when I'm done here just because I'm not the most precise painter. And it'll make it look more mysterious. I don't know, I just made that up. Okay, now this is gonna come up and then go around. Okay, I'm really doing it guys. Okay, now, Okay. 
I should have grabbed a different brush. This thing is like challenging. Okay, now for eyes. Let's see, so my eyebrows. Let's just do a smoky eye really quick while we're here. I'm gonna get a shadow brush and I'm just gonna start packing on some black eyeshadow in my crease. Just so I can get kind of a idea of where I want things. It's a fun makeup tip for you if you're still here. If you ever do need to put on a dark eyeshadow, especially black, the denser the brush, the less fallout you will get on your face. So if you get like a really fluffy brush like this, it's gonna get all over the place. If you get a packed brush like this, it will not. The more you know. It just takes a while. Especially when you're packing on black onto a red, a red face, it takes a minute. <laughs> God, it's a good thing I don't do people's makeup in real life. They'd be looking pretty scary. Okay, it's a good start. It's giving us an idea of where we need things to be. So I think my eyebrows, I might just make them part of this look because they're big and they're not going anywhere. I thought maybe I could mask them, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm just not in that kind of mood tonight. Okay, so we'll continue with the black marks. And let's see, my nose. This is really weird. So since I am very, uh, very not well versed in real life and in um, Star Wars, let's ask our good friend Alexa about Darth Maul. Alexa, who is Darth Maul? Darth Maul is a fictional character in the Star Wars franchise. Trained at Darth Sidious in search of vengeance, he serves as a Sith Lord and a master of wielding a double bladed lightsaber. He first appeared in Star Wars, Episode One, The Phantom Menace. Did that answer your question? Heck yeah, it did. So he's a Sith Lord. Frickin' Sith. So I haven't seen the newest Star Wars, but I was uh, reading a bunch online, and it sounds like he gets chopped in half. But he lives, which is pretty awesome, if I say so myself. I'm horrible at following franchise movies, except for Harry Potter. I follow those ones pretty good. But yeah, like the Star Wars ones, I, I know there was one that came out just recently, but it wasn't like super recent. Maybe it was a few years ago. I don't know. I'm bad. Okay. We're going to call that good. We look like we just drew ourselves a mustache. Not my intention. Okay. This is not going well. 
That's so not even. <laughs> okay, hang on. We gotta fix this. I don't even know what I'm doing with my life right now. We're gonna go with it. This guy's gonna have a Picasso face. Picasso. Like I have a weird mustache. I'm not digging it. Not digging this. Okay, let's draw these designs around my mouth and then I'll start filling things in a little bit better around my mouth, even though it looks super weird right now. So. They look kind of like baby fangs. <laughs> baby fangs are a weird goatee. I don't know. This one's going to be interesting. I hope I can look evil enough at the end. Ooh, I feel like I look like a ladybug. Very interesting, I will say that. Oh my god, that pickle. So bad. Okay. I look a little crazy, but it's starting to come together. If you look at, we're getting there guys. Slowly, but surely. Okay, kind of looks like he has jaundice. So I don't know how I'm gonna pull that off. Maybe by the end of this video, I will have jaundice. Weirder things have happened. Okay, I'm gonna start um, coloring in my chin area, filling in everything with black. I think that'll make it look a little better too. Okay. Well, I look like I could be a dragon sumo wrestler or a Darth Sith Lord, Sith Lord. I'm gonna have to watch one of these movies before my next video because I sound like an idiot. I'll have all these facts. You won't even know what happened. All right, I look. Interesting. I don't know if it's just me, but this isn't a good look. Not for me. All right, so my eyes. He's got weird things on his cheeks. He's got like check marks on his cheeks. So let's do those. Yeah, they look kind of even. 
Look at us go. Okay, and then his eyes come out to here. Down. And then Okay. That's a good look. And that'll all be black too. Kind of making things up. It's totally fine. Okay, so now I just got to do the same thing on this side. Not hard, right? Heavy gulp. Oh my gosh, that just reminded me. Not the gulping. Oh, calling Odin. We shaved Odin. It's pretty crazy. He doesn't even look like the same dog anymore. And Freya, our other dog, was so mean to him. Like, um, I don't know that she recognized him when we brought him home, but he looks like a different dog. And so she was so mean to him, and she's still mean to him to this day. And we shaved him, like, last week, one week ago. I still don't think she, she does not approve. And he's been like the weirdest, because normally he's so hot because he's an Aussie and he has a lot of hair, but now he's like in bed all the time. I think he's enjoying it, but he also like lost his best friend over it. She doesn't like his haircut. It was not approved by her at least. Okay. I digress. But I feel like the people need to know. Anybody who watches these for Odin sightings probably hasn't seen him in a while because, well, you know, uh, I locked the door now. But he's hairy. He's part of the family. And now he's not hairy. And Freya's trying to kick him out of the family. What kind of shapes did these people come up with for this Darth Sith guy? I think they just made things up. So I'm going to do it too. So we can play this game. Okay. We're almost done, guys. We're doing pretty good on time. This is usually when things start coming together. I'm looking a little crazy. But that's to be expected. All right, now how in the hell? Sorry, pardon my French. Somehow my forehead got longer on this side but well it's fine I'll just have one good side this one kind of looks like poo whatever okay and then I guess I will just draw a line from here to here Let's fill everything in, and then we're going to paint these horns, and then we will, uh, we'll make it look better. We'll smoke it out a little bit. Oh my gosh, this brush is, like, tickling me. When I had it on my chin, like, my lady goatee was getting tickled and it was about ready to drive me nuts now that we're next to my eyelashes it's tickling those too don't like to be tickled okay I need a bigger brush for this job Not 
to get that in my eye. Am I starting to look evil? I feel like I do. I'm feeling evil. That's all that matters, right? It's kind of hard to take me serious with this earbud hanging out of my face. I really want some AirPods, but then I also know that I will probably lose them, break them, or, or end up loving them. I don't know. I just can't justify it. I do just need to go get my phone's microphone fixed so that I don't have to wear these when I record. Maybe someday. Put it on the list of things to do. I've got a list about a mile long now that I can't do anything. I came home and wanted to do everything. It's a struggle. Yeah. I feel like this light's a little too bright. I need it further away. What's the French? This guy keeps trying to jump out at me. I'm injured, dude. Maybe I'll just lay him over there. It's fine. We're going off. Off the drawing now. We're on our own. My eyes look the same, no. No, they really don't look the same. All right, I'm gonna leave it alone before I mess it up. I'm gonna fill in the rest of this black and then draw my horns on. I'm so hungry. I didn't get to eat dinner yet. And Bo is making, they're these green chili elk burgers. And so you mix, like, and with your burger, you mix masa, green chilies, green enchilada sauce, and I think that's it. Then you fry them, and then you put cheese on them, and they are amazing. That's your daily recipe from Darth Maul. From the dark side. Let's figure out where this cat's from. Alexa, where is Darth Maul from? Darth Maul is from Dathomir. Dathomir? I don't know if you can hear or not. Those are not the same. One of these things definitely does not look like the other. Really fudged that up. Oh well. Okay. We're getting close. I feel like these horns are going to be the hardest part. I have to make them look like they're coming out of my head. Not just little little pillars of happiness. That's not what they are. Okay. My brace is so creaky against this chair. My brace is really cool. It has like a chair back built into it. So it goes like up to my shoulder blades and it's down like where I had my surgery. And uh, I'm looking through this like there's a mirror. But yeah, so it forces you to sit up straight. My core muscles are so sore because I never use them. And I have to use them now. Oh, this is not cool. They're red. They're turning pink. Unacceptable. I want white horns. I guess that's white enough. You gotta make him like yellow and dirty and gross and this guy just seems like he's got some dirty horns. Okay. 
these down that are super white. These are like horn veneers. <coughs> Those aren't cool. We gotta fix this. Kind of look like shark teeth. It is Shark Week, isn't it? I think it's Shark Week. Totally missed my opportunity to post my shark attack picture. Unless it still is. I've been out of the loop. It's been kind of nice, I'm not going to lie. Got to spend some much needed time with family. Rested a little bit, not a ton. It was, it's been a good couple weeks. I mean, it's been a bad couple weeks, but it's been good outcomes I guess you'd say okay so I'm gonna get some brown and this curved brush and I'm going to kind of shade up to the middle with this color chipper out of palette one and then I'll gradually get darker towards the bottom some yellows in there too. These look so weird. I'd like to say they look better in real life, but they don't. Okay, now let's get some dark brown at the bottom. I'm using the color Forthright. It's a matte espresso brown. I'm kind of curving it when I shade to try and make it look a little more three-dimensional. Yeah, that makes it look a little more three-dimensional. Just a little bit. Let's get a more camely, camely brown out of palette four. What's this color called? Arrogant. I'm arrogant sometimes. Let's see what it looks like. I don't know if I'm going to love it. I don't love it. It's too brown. Oh well. I'll do that and then we'll tap on it with some water and that'll kind of dilute it back a bit. Oh, not that much. Got the French can. There we go. I just like undid everything I just spent like 17 hours doing. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay, let's add some yellow. Let's get it gross. I'm gonna do like a yellowy brown. Kind of makes it look like my horns coming out of a hole in my head. That's cool, I guess. Okay. I'm going to do one little dust and one little dust. 
And I think my horns are good. Let's shade with some black eyeshadow around these things. I don't know why I did all that. That was weird. I'm just excited. I'm almost done, you guys. So I'm going to get a fluffy brush. Let's use this deluxe brush. And I'm going to get some black eyeshadow. And we're just going to kind of go around the edges. Smoke things out just a little bit. So it'll kind of take the 2D ness away a little bit a little, little bit I don't know I could be lying but every time I do this with any other look it always makes it look so much better probably because it hides all my imperfections that I did I probably should get at the base of these horns with some black too. We'll get that packing brush we had earlier. And we'll just kind of make those a little bit darker. Give them even more depth. Depth. Oh yes. They look like little dinosaur horns. There we go. Horns on my face. It's fine. All right, you guys. I think I'm done. What do you think? Do I look like Darth, Darth Maul? Oh my gosh, why is that so hard for me to say? Darth Maul. Paul Darth Maul Cup. There we go. Mm-hmm, feeling evil. So I don't know what I did last time and it worked really well. I just used my, uh, my backdrop. So this would be my uh, hood. What do you think? Oh my gosh. I actually look like him. I'm even surprised. So this is uh, Darth Maul. I think we did it. We really did it. So yeah, join me next week. Uh, we're going to do, I think I'm going to still do Star Wars. There's so many, uh, so many episodes. There's so many episodes in Star Wars, but there's also so many characters. So next week, we'll probably do another Star Wars character. I'm not ready to give up this series. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are feeling good on this Wednesday night because I'm feeling good too. All right, I'll let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah, stay classy. Bye.